Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Renal Artery Doppler Ultrasound. By applying color Doppler while scanning the kidney, we can find the renal artery and its branches. The reddish color means blood flow is towards the probe. So blood is flowing towards the kidney, which means it is renal artery. The normal renal artery has a low resistance flow on spectral Doppler. There is continuous forward flow on diastole. The normal resistive index is between 0 0.5 to 0 0.7. The normal peak systolic velocity is less than 180 cm per second. Renal aortic ratio is calculated using PSV of renal artery by PSV of aorta. This ratio is usually less than 3.5 but some institutions use less than 3. The first case is renal artery occlusion. Color Doppler is applied here but there is no blood flow noted inside the kidney which means there is renal artery occlusion. This leads to an infarcted kidney. An infarcted kidney may appear normal on ultrasound. This is an image of a segmental focal infarction. This is the infarct. No Doppler signal is found here, which means there is an occlusion here. A wedge-shaped hypoechoic area is seen. Renal arteriovenous malformation is an abnormal direct connection between arteries and veins. Without Doppler, it will look like a cystic structure in the kidney. This is a non-specific appearance. However, on color Doppler, we will see turbulent flow inside the cystic structure. There is mixing of colors. On spectral Doppler, High velocity flow is noted. You can see peak systolic velocity is crossing 200 centimeters per second. Also, there is spectral broadening, which is due to the turbulent flow. Renal artery stenosis is the narrowing of renal artery. The most common cause is atherosclerosis. The PSV will be greater than 180 centimeters per second. Here it has reached 200 centimeters per second. The renal interlobar ratio is calculated using this formula. PSV of intrastenotic region, that is the PSV at the site of stenosis, divided by PSV of the site distal to the stenosis. In renal artery stenosis, this ratio is greater than 5. Renal aortic ratio is calculated by using this formula. PSV of renal artery divided by PSV of aorta. In stenosis, this value is greater than 3.5. Turbulent post-stenotic flow is another feature of stenotic renal artery. We can see color mixing here, indicating that there is turbulence in this region. The PSV is above 200 centimeters per second. Renal artery stenosis will also have decreased resistive index. It will be below 0 0.5. Intraparenchymal acceleration time is the time between start of systole and peak systole. Normally, this should be less than 0 0.07 seconds. But in renal artery stenosis, it will exceed 0.07 seconds. Some cases of renal artery stenosis may give a tardus parvus waveform. There is a slow upstroke and rounding of systolic peak. We see a very blunt systolic peak, whereas in the normal case, it is sharp. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.